What's going on? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today I want to talk to you about Lucid. More specifically, this upcoming week, what might cause some volatility in the stock price, go over some of the data points, what they're currently saying, and where I see things going from here. Before I get into any of that, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And with that said, let's get right to it. So based on Friday, Lucid did go up 1.08%. As far as volume, it, there has been a very notable increase over the last week, but I guess there's been a ton of positive things coming out. But but still, that does indicate that there is a lot of good eyes are on Lucid. So 31.02 million shares being traded on Friday, which normally is a little bit lower of a day anyways. But 27.5 million shares is the average. So definitely something to note going into this week. As far as data points, there isn't really anything uh, this week. There's a hell of a lot of Fed speakers that could cause a lot of volatility. But other than that, though, Friday, there is just non-farm payroll. So that's the only thing to really watch for. But more specifically, what came out late last night was this. So it does say Congress passes bill to keep the government open, averting a shutdown. And this in among itself was causing a lot of fear last week. So I do feel that this might be the green light for the broader market to essentially go up um, starting next week. So that's something to consider. But other than that, though, the only thing that could be coming out that could help maybe lucid or hurt it depending on what comes out is this so i do believe a lot of evs such as rivian and potentially even neo are going to be unveiling their q3 delivery and production numbers this week and when it comes down to lucid and rivian they do have that kind of connection essentially since they did start relatively around the same time as far as production so if rivian's numbers are dramatically lower that will most likely affect lucid in a negative way vice versa if it is very positive that's just my own opinion not a financial advisor of course but when it comes down to lucid i do anticipate the delivery numbers to be a little bit higher than the production numbers i know i did say this during the last quarter but obviously they didn't really deliver a lot of the international uh, vehicles as anticipated within q2 they did say that due to time constraints and so forth that it's going to be in q3 so the numbers are going to be very very interesting when it comes down to lucid i don't anticipate them unveiling their numbers this week they like to do it about one week before their earnings and i do feel that their earnings is most likely going to be in the first week of November, similar to last year. So most likely they'll just kind of do it in this format. This came out November 8th, 2022. So kind of anticipate same time frame as far as to find out Lucid's numbers um, as far as that. So let me know your thoughts. Do you think that Lucid is going to be doing fairly well for their numbers? There was that rumor that they did have a very, very low July. But keep in mind, if you do kind of refer back to the Q4 2022 earnings, they did say that they were going to be doing rolling blackouts, essentially, because as they were going to kind of lock in the phase two and make sure everything works fine and and, and stuff like that so i think that was anticipated maybe that is why a little bit lower production numbers in july but who knows we'll just have to wait and find out um, as far as that goes but over and above that though i just wanted to share with you a couple of things that has been floating around of course during the whole opening ceremony of the amp2 facility peter did share um, as far as a connection or potential connection in the future with seer so i think that would be absolutely huge for lucid and that might be the in essentially uh, like i've mentioned on a previous video with the connection to Foxconn and through Foxconn Apple. So there might be some weird connection that does happen later down the line um, with Seer and also Foxconn and many others. So I think that would open up a lot of doors for Lucid. And over and above that, it's kind of a cool touch to see. So any vehicles produced out of Saudi Arabia does have it just kind of portrayed like that versus North America essentially is... Um, right here so kind of interesting kind of a, a switch up when it comes down to that so yeah let me know your thoughts on that as far as the data points options uh, options has looked fairly optimistic so over the last or i guess on friday alone nine hundred and forty eight thousand dollars in calls being purchased versus 453 inputs so based on that people are anticipating for it to trend up but if we do extend it to just look at the last two days um, per se then essentially about 1.64 million in calls versus is 1.42 million inputs so over the last little bit a lot of optimism has been coming out for lucid and this is a nice change of events especially considering during this time frame there was uh, a little bit more of a scary time it 
was a falling knife essentially in a lot of aspects about that but as far as the options if you are optimistic it is anticipated for this upcoming week for october the 6 2023 expiry to be between roughly around the 550 to six dollar range so kind of within range here and of course when you kind of look back at the technicals right here there is a very strong resistance level as it does transition from the lower to the higher percentile of the boiling band it did bounce off of that on friday as well so that's something just to keep in mind but yeah what's your thoughts do you think that it's going to go up to around the six dollar range or do you think it's just going to trend down if you are bearish there is an anticipation to go between or it looks like sub 550 there's a big amount of volume at that stage but based on friday there was a lot of volume that was happening so these are all the transactions that did occur on the secondary market over one hundred thousand dollars so some pretty big ones so 11.5 million 2.93 1.05 million so based on the bid and the ask, all of these, with exception of maybe a couple of small ones, were buys. So a lot of good transactions happening for Lucid. As far as this, these are some of the transactions occurring on the dark pool. Dark pool very much linked to shorting. A couple of ones uh, to note, 1.4, 1.4, 1.07 million. So once again, a lot of big money is using the dark pool. Sometimes maliciously, I'll give you an overview of what shorts are doing and what to expect from them going into next week. So short Short score is currently 82, utilization is 95.07, and as far as shorts, they did increase 231,000 shares on Friday, 26.6% of the free flow is being shorted, 220.13 million shares overall are being shorted, and cost of borrow average is going up a little bit in comparison to, I guess, Thursday and that is at 16.86 and looking as far as this interactive broker short availability only around 200,000 shares is available to be shorted. So. Shorts are running out of ammunition. 26.6% for a vehicle or a company that does produce a good amount of vehicles. It's not like Lucid is just sitting there doing absolutely nothing. They're producing vehicles. They also just opened up their AMP2 facility. Like having a 26.6% short interest is just crazy, crazy high. So I do feel realistically over the next maybe quarter or at least probably about a month and a half, you are going to see short slowly return back to maybe around the 20% range um, because that's been kind of their go-to point is around 20% so 20 to 22% so yeah I think that shorts over the, the last little bit has overextended themselves and you can clearly tell that so I do feel that most likely they are going to be returning some shares and that might actually help the stock price go up on a technical level but as far as what to expect from the price I'll give you an overview of that so starting off with it at $5.59 it is currently between the this S2 and this S1. So over the last little bit, it has definitely kind of regained some strength based on the technicals. So $5.88 is a point to watch for because that is going to be the next strong resistance. And then $5.50, which again, it's kind of close to it, but that is going to be the next strong support that you need to watch for. So above Lucid, there is a lot of resistance, like I said, 588, as well as that uh, kind of central boiling band right here. So that's also around the 570-ish range. And that's actually coincidentally what it did bounce off of on Friday. So there is a lot of resistance above it, but I do feel with the shutdown news or the avoidance of a shutdown, I guess I should say, I do feel that just there's a lot of optimism with Lucid and that in among itself could probably push it higher. But based on the options, Options, people are anticipating it to not exceed six dollars so that's something just to kind of keep in mind I do feel personally that it will get above this 588 I don't think it's going to get anywhere close to the pivot so six dollars and 52 cents but I do feel that it can easily get higher and probably touch around the six dollar range or maybe the 610 620 somewhere around there that's where I do feel realistically by the end of the week it could go but generally for it to kind of sit between this S1 and the pivot, that's generally fairly good. And you also have to factor in for Lucid specifically, most likely this week or the following week, they're going to be unveiling the whole Sapphire launch because they did say that is going to be in October. So once again, I think that would be a very good thing for Lucid as far as PR. And then obviously next month being November, then technically that is going to be the gravity launch. That is going to be the big, big thing that everyone cares about. So what's your take 
on Lucid? Do you think that it is going to get to the $6 range? Subtract? What's your viewpoint on all of that? As far as looking at this, so the momentum shows number of retail investors have been getting in. So both retail and institutions have been buying Lucid over the last week. Looks like ever since around the 22nd-ish, somewhere around there. Stochastic is nice and bullish right now and also neutral as far as that. So it's not really considered overbought yet or anything. So I think right now Lucid and its technicals are very much primed and ready to go and all it needs is a nice push whether it be from the broader market or maybe as a result of maybe something coming out from them itself because I think when it comes down to Lucid they are most likely sitting on a lot of PR that they haven't unveiled that's more of a random secret and that in among itself is what would really kind of drive Lucid higher because we already do know coming from an investor standpoint that there's the Sapphire launch. We already know that there's going to be the Gravity launch, but there's other things I'm sure that they are sitting on, such as maybe a partnership with Seer, for instance, that could just massively blow the stock price higher. So let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that and take advantage of these promos like I've been sharing with you with Mumu. This has been extended up until October the 20th. So just sign up for an account with Mumu, throw $100 at it and you get five free stocks. Each stock is valued up to $2,000. Take advantage of that while you can. And with that said, I appreciate you all watching and let's all make a ton of money on Lucid.